Welcome, everyone. Hello, friends. I'm Robin. I'm Katie. And this is the Reboot Review, colon, it's, it's alphanumeric. alphanumeric. So Katie and I are lifelong Reboot fans. We watch Reboot and we talk over Reboot about Reboot. Yep. Is what we're doing here. So uh, anyway, today's episode that we're going to be talking about and over is Andrea. Hooray! Yay! So anyway, this is this is a notable episode because, of course, Andrea is introduced here and uh yeah finally a new sprite yeah and i remember like i was just thinking about this coming over here today about how especially in like the early 90s if you were a girl who liked adventure games or not adventure games adventure shows Mm -hmm. like action adventure kind of stuff there was such a dearth of female characters at your disposal and any time a character, like a female character was introduced in a show like this. It was like alms. <laughs> like, here, yes. Just, yes, I got my scraps. Finally, finally. Yeah. Another girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Guess, who wasn't like Mouse. We had Mouse. So. Yeah, that's right. There's Mouse. But there's that's the thing. It was nice to have a girl who's tough. Yeah. And like, who was like going to be there consistently and regularly and not be like kind of ambiguously good. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, she's, yeah, I like, I just remember how refreshing it was to finally have someone new. Yeah, yeah, because, and again, because the whole thing was about, and, you know, as we'll see, this is the episode where we uh, first learn why there's only three sprites, besides the obvious technical reasons that that was all they could animate at the time. (laughs) Yes. um, (laughs) This is too hard. Yeah, (laughs) but their budget was enough at this point, or at least their technical abilities were enough at this point they could introduce another non like just geometric shapes character (laughs) exactly (laughs) well and she's so shiny like they they really had a good time designing her yeah yeah and so uh this is the episode where we understand why there was only that many care like that many sprites to date and it was yeah it's so exciting when you got to see another one because you know sprites are the only characters who are contributing meaningfully to the story in clearly (laughs) so (laughs) <laughs> um, oh man i also want to give a shout out here before we start to the actress who played young andrea um andrea libman who was her name is andrea yeah and it's also played, and, andrea. played andrea oh, and i think cute. she she was like 14 or something when she was casting this i checked all this earlier and i just went and rechecked it and uh i have to say andrea libman has done quite well for herself she's originally from toronto ontario also in Canada and uh, really? naturally, <laughs> but, but, but the exciting part is that uh, she would go on to play um, Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy <gasps> in My Little Pony Rainbow <laughs> Friendship is Magic. Yeah. The, the, the My Little Pony reboot. I she plays two of the main. I actually didn't know that. I, I didn't know it either until I was looking at the actress on IMDb and I was like, holy crow. Wow. She's a pony now. Oh wow. my goodness. Good, like, and way she's to talented. go, Andrea that's, Libman. That's a great yeah. voice. Like yeah. two great voices. Yeah. And like, again, like with the a versatility that voice actors have to have, um, being able to play Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy, who are two very, very different characters. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I would have guessed that. It, I wouldn't have guessed that they were played by the same person. No, no, me either. Yeah. Wow. So good job, Andrea Libman, voice of young Andrea. Oh, I'm gonna and like this episode really, even more. Now. Yeah, yeah. You can. So, so this is getting to see a now very accomplished, well-known voice actress in her early career. So I guess I will just go ahead and start the episode now. Oh wait. Now. I now. Come from the net. <laughs> now. <laughs> Didn't quite have my timing on that one. And place. um you I will say also that uh Andrea before she was in reboot was uh also in a single episode of The X-Files. Um which uh, I loved The X-Files as a kid or as a teenager rather. Um I was, so I was allowed very to excited watch it. to. Yeah. No, I can. <laughs> I can understand that. Yeah. Well, you had younger siblings too, so. Yeah, it's true. And I was a I wimp, was the so. youngest. Oh yeah, that's also true. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, I, you often profess your inability to watch. I know. I remotely, know. like we had to like talk you into Stranger Things. <laughs> I know. It's true. I know. Um, but reboot's uh, about as heavy as I can handle. For any other X Files fans out there, if you're curious, uh, the voice of Andrea was uh, in an episode called Born Again, playing a character named Michelle Bishop. And I looked up the episode synopsis to remember that episode, and that's. If you recall an early episode about a um, 
uh, a bunch of like deaths of people that seem to happen around this young girl played by Andrea Lipman um, that do not seem like they could possibly be caused by a young girl and then they trace it back to like a dead detective. And that was enough to make me kind of remember the episode. So, so that was also the voice of Andrea playing the young girl in that. I'm glad I know this. Yeah. You know, any other X Files fans out there might ring some bells. Oh yeah, and this is this is the first time we see reboot characters being played within the show, which yes. is a really fun trope they come back to. I love that they would have a show about like Bob and Dot and their adventures within again because they're the only ones who matter, right? Exactly. <laughs> Everything they do is worthy of being like <laughs> they're so commemorated amazing. in television. <laughs> See, I just, like, I really think we should delve deep into the concept of, like, useless sprites. Like, ones who, yeah. who actually don't do anything important at all. Yeah. And, like, I feel kind of look into what their lives are. <laughs> a whole episode really dedicated to that random the one that you see. Yeah. Like, the punk sprites. Yeah, sort of like, that. Right. where is that is a person? Of a true yeah. Yeah. Ambiguous gender. Like, protect the guilty. No grocery <laughs> shopping. <laughs> Next cycle on true stories of Somebody's got to be doing that in How do you know mainframe that or the supercomputer or wherever. Oh yeah. I know everything. Psst, that's Guardian. Guardian. Enzo, are you still sitting there watching Mike the TV? Wait, isn't Why Mike supposed to be entertaining Hexadecimal? I've got no he got friends. bored. He got tired. Involved in that game. Hey, I, I, okay, I did love that finally we realized the player plays, or the user plays the game more than once. Yes. <laughs> oh, hey, what do you know? It's a good way to save assets, but also preserves some sense of, like, realism Real, and continuity right, on the part of the user. Who has that much money that they can buy game after game after game? Ten seconds to planet destruction. And also seeing how the game plays out when uh, Megabytes is not there. <laughs> there yes, exactly. anyway, I had fun with Bob and the games. Now I just... Enzo, games aren't supposed to be fun. They're dangerous. Well, that's right. I guess this is like a follow-up to Bad Bob. Bob. So Enzo did have to listen Promise. when like Bob was like, you can't go in the games. Well, look at I that. don't think I ever made that connection before, to be honest. I hadn't at all. Yeah. Wow, they actually followed through Brace on yourself. our parenting decision. Good for them. <laughs> right. They're learning. <laughs> Figure it out. Yeah, they read a book. <laughs> For a PDF. <laughs> right, I know, but of course, a readme file. You nearly got us nullified! I can't believe you did that! Bob! Well, <laughs> Bob. Problems? You could say that. These two booted into the game and tried to win it by setting off an explosion capable of destroying a planet! They're proud of themselves. I know. Yes. Especially I when do you're like that other players would be like something that would get in Bob's way oh, as well. Of course, and yeah. that of course he would lose it at them when that happens. Again, another thing that makes him actually feel like a well-rounded character instead of just a hero. Right? Yeah, yeah, because he, he's not able to just solve every problem. Yeah. What about a little refresher course? You could base it on that readme file of yours. Games. Oh, it's readme files, not See? PDFs. It's not a bad idea. I said it. Nice. I missed the... Now, I said readme, remember? My little problem? Probably. No, I re what? rewind it. <laughs> okay. I said, I said <laughs> readme after you said Okay, PDF. I do believe you. I believe you. Is he running businesses or saving <laughs> mainframe to have time for him? And he hasn't got new friends because there aren't many small sprites left in mainframe since the Twin City was destroyed. Oh, I'm sorry, Doc. I didn't mean to... No, I'm okay. That was quite an exposition it's jump, but I do the like, like, they did a nice job with the voice acting and yeah. the emoting it wasn't on that bad. to make it feel, yeah. like, yeah. sincere. I know, I know. I know. And I remember just, just latching onto now. this because, like, it was like, Come oh my on. gosh, there's a reason. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's a backstory as to why no this is, play. like... And he wouldn't have talked about it because it hurt her feelings. Exactly, yeah. Hi, Although, Enzo, again, with season four huh? having kind of rewritten how things how happen the there, you think he would be a little oh, more sensitive about it, too, but... Yeah, yeah, that's a good yeah. point. <laughs> I love that the hand just <laughs> coming in the shot. Where is he, anyway? I don't know. He's not my dog. He's feral. And you know what that means. He could be anywhere, doing anything. 
<laughs> Again, a day in the life of Frisket would, would be also like a great. Be little, like, wouldn't that be an awesome little like one-off like bonus Everyone's short or something? That'd be so fun. Yeah. No Make that happen, somebody. Give me a day in the life of Frisket. I love mean, there's no explanation as to how, like, Frisket's Enzo. found Captain Capacitor again. <laughs> well, of course, you, all to your imagination. So the Golden Fleece was in the fourth chamber, guarded by a Hydra. Once Glitch had removed all seven of the Hydra's heads, as shown here... Like, again, this is... I simply touched the Fleece to end the game. So, to recap... There are three basic rules. Rule no, I was thinking of the part coming up here, games. too, where it's like, again, reusing assets, but in a way that, like, makes path. sense and feels like, rule yeah, like, we we don't just play a game and then forget that it existed. We can go back game, and, like, address them again. Yeah, and they should. Yeah, they absolutely should. Finally, but I guess that'd be boring, three, too, so. Defeat <laughs> the user. Either by destroying it Like, I feel like there could be neat stories. You could hi random nine. Thanks for that little shot there. With the hat. But, like, I, I feel like there would be really interesting stories you could do going back to games and seeing them played from, like, a different point of view. But that would be that would certainly be a writing challenge, though, because so often the, the games are decided on by the story you're trying to play, right? Right, yeah. But, it, but of course, yeah, like, I think games now especially play out differently. Yeah. They, then maybe you always had to play it the same way. Yeah. <laughs> Teehee. <laughs> Although I am also slightly head. discomforted by the idea that, like, binomes can find sprites attractive. Passives, chaotic, but, like, it doesn't and a seem addition, to work the other way. <laughs> like, just, I don't know. I think Bob and that biker chick that, has yeah, something true, going on. Very true. That but I, yeah. <laughs> I guess it's because he's a hero. Yeah. Same way that hexadecimal is attractive. Passive. Or at least she has least a fascination. Right. Like, yeah, I think a fascination kind of makes more sense. Like it manifests. Because she can't feel love. She's not a sprite. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Things about reboot you should not be too hard about. But please remember, treat them all as potential threats. Remember, there is no substitute Remember, that was foreshadowing. <laughs> I had to lay it out for you. chapters one through five for next time. That's Pong through to Space Invaders. Bob. Also, this was an episode that went to great lengths to explain things about the mechanics of games that had just been left ambiguous until now. Like, it's cool for that reason, too. It's really getting to him. I have a schematic for a robot friend. <laughs> I've forgotten that line. <laughs> nice, Fong, but I think he needs a real friend. Warning, incoming game. The robots can't okay. be real friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow, Dodd. That's, uh, I don't think you realize the implications oh, of what you're saying there. Is it very bad? The game is right, going seeing to is like Enzo's life companion will become an AI. Exact. Mm -hmm. <laughs> His current state, who knows what he will do. I, I, I pretty... would assume not die. Like, <laughs> oh, well, there oh, it does kind of figure that the game cube. Oh wait, no, they already established that it was dropping right on the diner, but that would no that would figure. And this all the fun? See ya. Come on, Doc. We don't have much time. But I told Enzo not to go into the games alone. Yes, but did you tell him to move if one was dropping on him? Come on, Bob. We don't have much time. Woohoo! I like that they would duck as though that makes a difference. No, <laughs> that's a really good point. Like, can, can, can you, like, poke in? I guess you can't poke into the game, so, like, you would have to almost duck to get under the... But, like, doesn't it just, like, come up, like, over the I'm not sure. I mean, yeah. you can't get into one once it's over. The yeah, true. Fact, okay, yeah. I want to say, as a kid, I really liked mermaids. This this, this was doing it do for it. me. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess that was part of why you liked Andrea in general. Yeah, I was all about. Oh, for and yeah, for anyone who wow. doesn't know or doesn't remember, God looks amazing. Um, what a Andrea is I heard that. Katie's favorite character. Oh yeah, at least yeah, yeah. yeah. Was back in the day, still is, I imagine. You thought it. she's out. Oh. Well, she's one. Game I, it's hard. Like oh, they're all. Sorry. I yeah. Be careful what sort of. I say. And I like Sometimes more characters now when I go first. back and rewatch. So that's it. That's yeah, the thing. Is, but yeah, Andrea was definitely my 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 big time favorite. Yeah, she was so cool. 
Right. The and a mermaid kind of fish yeah, woman. Which again, like the thing you already liked. And, and, yeah. and she was action-y. Mm -hmm. Apparently, I've got electrical powers that can be used offensively. Yeah, super competent. Yeah. For a small childish <laughs> person. I mean, we don't know actually again, she how old like she that much younger than we were when we were watching this. Yeah. So she, she read as younger than us, but not by a lot. So it is funny, like, she actually identifying. filled the void of the disconnect that I felt toward Enzo. Yeah. Right? She was cool and interesting and, like, likable. And not, yeah, and just not ridiculous. And, yeah. That's right. She wasn't an overdone, overdone, like, what they assume a young girl would be like. She was just simply cool. Yeah. And that's what young girls yeah. want. They just want to look up to someone, someone cool. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter if she feels capable always... and competent to them. Yeah. yeah. Here she is. Hooray. <laughs> the weirdly pink eyes. <laughs> yeah, I've forgotten that. And, like, and that they give, again, she gets a really distinctive overall face shape compared to like a, like every character is is built really differently or independently. Yeah, yeah. yeah she was like the benefit of coming in later in. Yeah, the show. yeah. Where they had to actually set her apart in some meaningful way, and they had like the means with which to do that and the technical proficiency. Let's do it. They love the they not moves, having to like animate bendy mouths. torsos. Yeah, true. Actually, that probably saved them a lot of trouble. Yeah, they had to make up for it in bendy torsos. Bendy torso motion. I always enjoyed the user in this one too. It's kind of just yeah. And unmoving. also, I love that. I mean, I'm again kind of jumping ahead here, but this felt like more of a real game just by the fact that the user had multiple lives. Because it always bugged me that they only what had to like eliminate the anyway? user once in these games. Yeah. To win. I that guess I'd be super not believable. The lazy loser user is a quitter. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, what a rage quit every yeah, time. Every time. I remember finding this really cool. Yeah. Piranha Mine. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because it wasn't that like an ability that one of them had was to like lay a piranha mine. And they're like, what is that? <laughs> The game hasn't gone away. I was, of course, have to wonder, like, what the user has multiple lives. is the purpose of the user? Not good. This like, is like, not good. they hey, seem like a bad guy in this game. So, okay. like, are they yeah, trying to seem like another a good game guy? Where, yeah. like, it sort of assumed like you're more of an anti hero. Yeah, because like these nice, these pretty mermaids are trying to stop you from doing what you want to do. So like, and you're like evil shark vessel. Yeah, with the like, red eyes. You're the invader. Three, yeah, two, yeah. One. I guess it just like it reads easier as a cartoon. Yay. Like it, it's less confusion, now? perhaps. Six down. Yeah, like it, it dissonance. That's Come what I'm on. looking for. Like I feel like there's there's some dissonance there if wow, okay. our main characters are dressed as sure. enemies. Hey, cool. Spice. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Acid or poison. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, yeah. Not poison, they paralyze. Totally oh my gosh, I can totally I hear Pinkie yeah, Pie now. Rebooted, <laughs> <laughs> all I got was this iPad. But again, have you watched Reboot Reboot? since Friends no, of the I Magic? No, I haven't. I have So, yeah. Me? I'm Enzo, uh, a guardian. Yeah, that's it. I come from the net. And who are you? I am Andrea. I'm a... Cool. I haven't seen you around mainframe. I guess, I'm Andrea. if I'm remembering nice this name. correctly, like, Enzo kind of has it figured out, but doesn't want to admit that this is not, like, a person from around mainframe. Wasn't that it? Because I, I think I remember watching this episode and being like, why would he think there'd possibly what be Sprite in mainframe that he doesn't what? know? <laughs> yes, it does seem like a weird thing that? for him, too. I think at the end, if well, I'm remembering this correctly, he huh? does know Wait, deep down yeah. that this person is not a regular mainframer. Yes. I think so. I'm not sure. Yeah, I yeah. don't remember. But I know, it's, it's, a, it's a reach. I mean, Assuming I mean we're but, not talking but he's also it. in the state of mind. <laughs> he's in that state of mind where like, he's he's so hopeful for something. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's what they kind of try to play out. Yeah. And I like the idea of like a game wearing Bob and Dot down. How are we doing? Yeah, yeah. It's like, just like grinding away. Yeah, yeah, it feels More like a grind, the yeah. way they, like, write and present this episode. No! Yeah, and I forgot that there's, like, that moment of hopelessness, too, where they... Yeah, like, it's just... 
Yes. Could you do that but like I'm ten more power. times? Yeah. Oh, I have power. Well, there you go. The only chance now is to beat the user to the treasure. Wait here. Oh, they always have to have that mechanic because it's like the, yeah. the simplest yeah. one you Easy. can do, right? Yeah. Even though I don't know if I've ever played a game where I had to like get to the end goal in the game simply before another character. Like, like yeah. an in-game like, AI right sprite. At, like an actual yeah. race. Okay, which way? This way, but be careful. Now the game sprites will be yeah, after Yeah, pretty much every well. game you have to kill the NPCs and, and then you get the treasure. Yeah. His legs didn't even reach the ground. <laughs> I do love, like, again, the going back to old episodes and the Andrea. idea that, like, he would be retelling them mm -hmm. as him this being, the like, the real hero. But it's like, yeah. I remember that episode. I mean, even though they have I to like you, do, like, a callback to that episode uh, at the beginning of this one in case you haven't like seen you too, that Andrea. one. But, like, right. When we win this game, you can come to the diner and meet Bob But and still, Doug. again, the, this, this was when the show dog. really started to feel like it had a continuity to it. And this stuff couldn't just happen in any order. We were actually acknowledging things that had happened before, which... Again, where most TV was episodic at the time, that felt really special to me as a young viewer, seeing continuity in a Yeah, it meant like something, yeah. yeah. Which, of course, back in the day, it was annoying, though, if you missed anything. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, but it's true, it, it makes the show much more interesting. Yeah, and again, that's why they have the little callback at the beginning. They had the shot of Enzo being trapped in the damsel outfit. Right. Remember? The bed. On, remember? Yeah. You watched this. And even if you didn't watch it, like... You know what he's alluding to because yeah. we dropped it in. Yeah. You know. Come on! I'll take the manta rays, you take the stingrays. See, like, here's, like, their ship is this beautiful tropical fish. It looks really cool yeah. and nice. And it's this scary little shark tank. Yeah. <laughs> shark tank. <laughs> Whoosh. Yeah, you're right. That does seem like a little bit odd. But again, I think it's in these games, they have to like place the user as seeming like a villain yeah. in order to Bob, get around that narrative dissonance color? of you rooting for the I bad guy or someone who looks like the bad know. guy. Yeah, kids are just, they'd have too hard a time, I think. Well, maybe they wouldn't. I don't. It'd be interesting to see if they had tried yeah. a little bit more. I never noticed we like the patterns on her game. arms, Heart like just how. Oh, with all those like little details. And... Yeah. yeah, it's more than just like a, a random shininess. Yeah, she's actually got real patterns. Here they come. That murky red water—that's pretty creepy. Actually, that is creepy. Shark perspective. <laughs> shark cam. <laughs> I don't know how I felt about the fact that the sharks had no insides. Or that well, the jaws could do that. <laughs> I find it so believable because that's that's what it would that's be true. like it in a game, the game, game like that. Yeah, yeah. After it's not like they thought about what AI shark guts would right. be no. designed to look like. That's true. Nowadays they probably would have animated every bit of guck inside of something. Because video games these days. Oh, I, I shake my fist. <laughs> it's cool, the buried underground statues. A little bit of creative setting there. I guess they are supposed to be in like Atlantis though, aren't they? Yeah, so, yeah, of course. And I like that the tension here is about not just saving themselves, but that they know Enzo's in the game and they're really here to save him. Yeah, right, exactly. It's way more important. But then Enzo is relatively yeah. capable. Look at him. One saving the day. It's Enzo, and he's with someone. It's a game sprite. We've got to get him out of there. There's no time. We gotta win the game. Quick, come on. Oh no! I like the tension of the time sensitivity in this scene as well. Yeah, like he actually has to make a make an action. Yeah, take an action. 
You know, offline, deleted, quit without saving. You're a game sprite, aren't you? Yes. Maybe I'm it does take them all to realize. <laughs> I, I, I didn't want to listen. Oh, yeah. Oh, there, there we go. Be my friend. I am Enzo. How? You're a game sprite. You leave with the game, win or lose. We can never stay together, no matter what happens. We can be together, Enzo. No. Ping. What are you doing? He's poisoning you. Is that the only time Andrea ever does that to Enzo? <laughs> I said that we know. <laughs> yeah, I feel like off screen that probably happened to Matrix a handful of times. It's an argument. It's just like, oh, whatever. Enzo! I win. I like how this like seems like putting Enzo in danger, but yes, yeah. They really bonded over those uh, like yeah, ten is, minutes of that well, gameplay. Well, Enzo's had no one his age to bond with basically his whole life, so I guess yeah. it didn't take much. No. No, right, come on. Enzo. This is these are soulmates. Okay, yeah, let's not write yeah. this <laughs> off. The well, I mean, they're both pretty action-oriented, obviously. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I can see them both friend. liking the same she sporty stuff. <laughs> okay, we'll have to do a couple of like questionnaires and really pair them up. Oh, that, it always did check me as weird that this was possible. And we never really go to great lengths to explain how. Andrea, yeah, how would she know? You know? She, yeah. Right? Like, it's not like she's done this before. I told or you. Unless, right, maybe. or Because <laughs> she, she generates with the game. How so many maybe Andrea is always exiting. With, we just multiple Andreas That's out there in different systems. She, she just, just kind of friends anyone yeah. she meets. <laughs> Joins them on their quest. I'm kind of liking this multiverse Andrea theory. It's a game sprite? Outside of the game? I don't believe it. Hey, what does she mean, Guardian? I forgot how long they dragged that one out. I know, yeah, they really, they really <laughs> Although, do. Although, did you see, like, Dot's facial expression as Bob was like, whoa, this has never happened before, and Dot just looks so relieved that Enzo's going to be out of her hair. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't look alarmed. She just like, oh, thank okay. goodness. <laughs> Finally. You guys play together. Right? Yeah, I've got to get back to running this business. And also being like semi mayor of this you town. Basically, yeah. Ding. Yeah, it's kind of partly dots. I don't want to say it's like her fault for taking on too much, but um, that's what she does. She does agree to take on a lot of responsibility at the same time as raising her little brother effectively as a child after the twin cities were oh i can't i can't say <laughs> yeah that is really cool this the the they they're really starting to flesh out the the real history of me yeah thing. although it it did still bother me that we nonetheless they they set up this twin cities thing and even after having season three they don't really tell us what happens until season four. Like they had yeah. that whole season to fill in this whole little, or like to grow this little seed that they planted. And yeah. then it's like, oh, well, we've got other things to worry this about. This seems more important. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I know it's true. Like I do remember being annoyed that they say it and then nothing. They yeah. When the end of season three was clearly like a finale. And by that point I knew enough to like, read news about shows that were getting renewed and stuff like that like even just in the newspapers and uh like kind of knowing that the show hadn't been renewed for another season i mean like we're just never gonna know we that just, what why not I yeah know. It no you so had to important. spend so much more time with the pirate right <laughs> don't worry guys we'll get there <laughs> yeah <laughs> so I don't any last thoughts on Andrea? I feel like I kind of got out most of the stuff that I would have to say about it. And about well, thanks Andrea for doing Lippin. the research because that was cool. Yeah, I mean, isn't that neat to know? And to although, be able to but you know what I find so interesting is actually when I think back on it, I remember like I just remember her first um, episode being her being more interesting or like her having to do a little bit more. Yeah. And then I watch it now. I'm like, man, I mean, she just looked cool and she had a neat voice. I mean, man, that's a cool voice. Yeah. But like, you don't really get to see too much of the actual. I guess it was the fact that, that, that she have. clearly came with weapons. Yeah. Like she's already got gear. I think maybe presents the idea of her being like super cool. More action-y. Yeah, I guess that's, and I, yeah, it's like, she's just, 
And like, I, I wanted to see more of, of Enzo and her actually getting along, but I mean, you know, they're giggling about the stories, I guess. So, I mean, really their relationship is built on a pack of lies, but <laughs> this is true. But... She, she chooses to like cross over realities for him. Right. <laughs> totally well, misrepresented how himself. impulsive this AI is in <laughs> every game in which she is generated. <laughs> <laughs> that would be time... my favorite thing to come out of this recording of... <laughs> Yeah, a whole, this episode, yeah. a whole, yeah, really exploring this idea of. There, I, I feel like basically I've come super up with ultra a lot friendly of Andrea, amazing, uh, Andrea, uh, or not Andrea. I feel like I've come up with a lot of amazing like fanfic ideas just <laughs> from having discussed this with you, watching it again, and all of, like agree. the wait a minute possibilities. Yeah, there is so much to. There's so much to explore. Yeah, so and we'll I mean do we do see maybe. more of like young Andrea and young Enzo bonding. Later on. Later, so it yeah. That, later. It could have been that, like, you thought. Love at first sight. Yeah. But what like, if they turned out to hate each other? That's true. And then you would have this poor game. It's a good thing it didn't turn out that way. I agree. But Otherwise, that's because, obviously, Dot it was just meant have another to be. kid to take care of. <laughs> didn't even want to be there. <laughs> yeah. She just, like, got headphones in on her cell phone all the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Moody. <laughs> yep. I feel like Andrea could have gone through a phase like that anyway. We didn't really see her like That's teen years in the point. games. Yeah. Well, I think what she accelerated her growth. So I mean, she got she's lucky. She didn't even have to go through really all that good. stuff yeah. or really notice. Well, I think it. they did have to do it. It just happened much faster Very quickly. in game time. That would have been <laughs> again a whole other <laughs> awkward time that oh, we don't really even need to think fiction. about. <laughs> yeah, I know that. I'm sure has been explored. Yeah, this is true. Yeah, probably ad yeah. nauseum. Uh -huh. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, this has been the reboot review. Assuming you're finished. I'm done. Do, okay. So I don't want to think anymore about yeah. these things. <laughs> I'm Robin. I'm Katie. And until next time, stay frosty. We're offline. Deleted. Quit without saving. <laughs>